Hi, I'm Ben Finan, Editor-in-Chief of Listen, Life with Music and Culture. Today we're at the Steinway Factory in Queens, New York with pianist Stuart Goodyear. Stuart, you are a huge fan of the Nutcracker. You must be because you've done your own arrangement of the entire ballet for piano. Can you tell me why you did that? I grew up with the entire uh, ballet, just listening to it over and over and over again. And uh, I was um, enchanted by the music and I just loved the storyline. Not only um, the dances that we hear, but um, the battle between um, the Nutcracker and the Mouse King that, were, that was very intense. And um, it just showed so many layers. I just thought, you know, I just you know, have to do the whole thing. To me, the Nutcracker is like the Walt Disney of music, you know, in terms of what enchants audiences about Disney. Um, there's the humor. For some people, there's the love story. For some people, there's the adventure. There's all of those aspects in this Nutcracker. So to me, it's like I'm listening to um, Technicolor. I'm listening to um, incredible animation. When you take music for orchestra and you set it for piano, what happens to the texture? What happens to the music? I imagine that you're, you're losing some orchestral texture. Everything seemed to be so pianistic, so I was um, going through and thinking, you know, this will work well, this will work well, and uh, it was just up to, up to me to um, put the colors in there. Is there something that you're hoping to capture when you do an arrangement like that? Um, just trying to uh, really create as faithful an arrangement as possible with all of the orchestral elements there, the woodwinds, the brass, and um, so it didn't, doesn't feel like um, the audience is missing anything, you know, it's all there. When Tchaikovsky first premiered the ballet, the ballet itself was not that successful. It was too new, it was too novel for um, a lot of the um, audience members. Uh, just the fact that the story uh, revolved around kids, for example, was very new. And of course the, or or the orchestration, the celesta, the music box elements, um, all that was seemed a little bit too strange. So now it's a perennial favorite in America. Every season, every ballet company, a lot of ballet companies getting as much as 40% of their revenue for the year on this one. But it's interesting, I think, to hear the music without the visuals. It allows us to focus more on all the brilliant things that Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky is does, up to. Absolutely. Yeah.